are watching Jamaican News on YouTube, your number one place for local and international news about Jamaica. Now, remember to like the video, remember to share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for support and growth. With all of that said and all of that done, I'm going to jump into the intro, then I'm going to come back with one of my friends in. Welcome back, welcome back my viewers and my subscribers. Now before we get started, I want to say, you know, big up to all uh, the police them. You see, big up to all of the security people them right now. As the year start, I do have on a hand full already, you see it. Why I say that my viewers and my subs, I also want to send some condolences to some friends and family and also colleagues Zin, of some members of the Jamaica Constable Force who have lost their life suddenly over the weekend. My viewers and my subs, Jaja, you don't know when time death will come your way. Now the Jamaica Constable Force has plunged into mourning once more following the passing of a detective sergeant. The deceased is Willie Porter, a veteran lawman who died at the University Hospital of West Indies on Sunday. It is understood that he was admitted there on Thursday for an undisclosed medical issue. This is the second member of the Jamaica Constable Force to die in as many days. On Friday, a police corporal attached to the Center for Investigation of Sexual Offense and Child Abuse died after complaining of not feeling well. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. It is unclear what caused the corporal sudden death. With just seven days gone in the year and the foolishness my viewers and my subs start already. <laughs> now tell you no lie man, it is very crazy. Seems like there's no stopping and there's no end to some of the antics were going in the last year. Now two men were shot by the police one fatal on Sunday morning in the market district of downtown Kingston after they reportedly caught by the police breaking into a business establishment. According to the head of the Kingston Central Police, Superintendent Beris Ford Williams, the police were alerted to a break-in on Beckford Street and on their arrival, they were fired upon by men in the area. The police reportedly returned the fire and at the end of the shooting, two men were seen suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds. They were taken to hospital where one of the men was pronounced dead and the other was admitted for treatment under police guard. A firearm and ammunition along with some stolen items were recovered at the scene, the police reported. Meanwhile, my viewers and my subs in St. Anne's, three teens were arrested on Saturday over the stabbing of a 15-year-old boy at the Brownstone Bus Park in St. Anne. The injured boy remained in hospital up to the posting of this video, my viewers and my subscribers. Those arrested are being held on suspicion of wounding with intent. It is reported that around 8 p.m., the 15-year-old was at the bus park when a dispute developed between him and the three other teens, aged 14, 15, and 16. Wow, wow, wow. My viewers and my subs, this is early signs of what is to come. 14, 15, and 16. Stab up a 15-year-old. Chaja. Now a knife was brought into play and he was stabbed several times in the upper body. He reportedly ran from the scene and was rescued by his relative who rushed him to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital. He was admitted for his injuries that he received. A report was subsequently made to the Brownstone Police and an investigation led to the arrest of the three teenagers. Meanwhile in Manchester, the police are probing the parish third murder since the start of the year. This after a farmer was shot and killed by a gunman at a bar in Poros in the parish on Friday night. The deceased is O'Neill Henry alias Pasha of Top Cafe Grove District in the parish. Police report that around 9.30 p.m. on Friday, 
Henry and others were at a bar when gunmen approached and opened fire before escaping. When the shooting subsided, Henry was found suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds. He died on the spot. Ja ja. <laughs> me tell my viewers and my subs, the antics, the chaos, and the foolishness continue already. It's like it's never ending and there's no answer to what is going on on the island. Now, Manchester first murder was recorded on Wednesday when 51-year-old taxi operator Greg Taylor died from injuries he sustained a day earlier during a deadly family dispute over a dead left horse. The incident happened in Cockawalk in the parish during which Taylor was hit with an object on his head and other section of his upper body, reportedly by a relative during a heated argument. My viewers and my subs, just careful out there. Remember to like the video, remember to share, comment and subscribe to the channel for support and growth. I'm out.